Greetings and welcome to our series of weekly devotionals where we take a look at one of the lectionary readings for this upcoming Sunday and offer a couple of thoughts for reflection. This week we're looking at a passage in uh, the letter to the Hebrews, chapters 11 and 12, uh, dealing with faith. And I remember a conversation I had with my daughter Julia just a couple of weeks ago. She had made Dean's List for three straight semesters. And this was after scuffling for a couple of years in college, kind of transferring from one college to another, changing her major three or four times, and really struggling to find some some success. And, and now she, she finally has. And I said to her, well, I had faith in you, dear. I had faith that you could do it. And I've, I've had several conversations with church folk uh, or just people in my life where I've said something similar, like if they were uh, hoping for or waiting for some kind of positive outcome, some success, I would say, well, have faith. Have faith uh, that you can achieve it or have faith that that this can happen. And uh, it reminds me of, of sometimes our propensity to think that our faith is, is just about sort of achieving something. And uh, I'm reminded of televangelists, who sort of promote this prosperity theology that if you just have enough faith, well, God will give you just about anything you want. And of course, I don't really think that's what faith is all about. But in the beginning of this passage in Hebrews, the writer does speak of some amazing accomplishments. Uh, folks who, who through faith conquered kingdoms, administered justice, obtained promises, shut the mouths of lions, quenched Raging fire escaped the edge of the sword, won strength out of weakness, became mighty in war, put foreign armies to flight. And the writer also mentions some amazing heroes of the faith, Samson and uh, Gideon and David and Samuel, other prophets. And we might think that this passage is is about the, the kind of success awards that we can be granted if we just have enough faith. But the passage really, really more so focuses on the requirements of faith, what these individuals uh, had to give in order to live through these experiences, in, in order to overcome or live through difficulties and challenges, what faith requires, what faith demands of us. And, and perhaps we're not so comfortable thinking about faith in this regard. But I think of a workshop we went to from our church several years ago where the presenter asked us if in our church we mostly thought of ourselves as guests or hosts because guests focus just on what they receive while hosts focus on what they can give to others. And I think so many church folk think of ourselves as guests. What the church, what God, what our faith can give to us instead of what the church, God, our faith uh, can get from us, what we can give, and uh, if anything. So that might be a worthy thought for today, thinking, reflecting on our faith, and not just about what we get from having faith in God, but what, what our faith in God calls us to give. Amen.